Do people even buy CDs anymore? What is there any reason that I should sell them as an artist? Is a question that I've asked myself every single day since I bought 100 CDs from disc makers. I mentioned in the video um, that no one buys CDs and I might have to pay people to take them, which hasn't been so far from the truth. No, I've sold them. Honestly, I got my money back and a little bit more. The goal is not really to make money with CDs, it's just to not lose money. Isn't that the story of everybody making music, just try not to lose, don't be homeless kind of thing. We live in a digital age, you know, everything's on Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora. I don't know if people still use Pandora. LimeWire, FrostWire, these are the websites that people use. Nowadays, if you go to a store and buy CDs, it's considered retro and hip, hipster of you, you know, but people have seemed to embrace vinyls coming back. I just started my collection of vinyls. I'm 26, I'm about to be 27, and I'm starting to embrace my middle age hobbies vinyls uh so i have my stuff on spotify but i i have to admit as an artist you feel very separated from your listeners a lot of my listeners are from australia and germany and while that's very cool and, and i see the numbers on the screen i don't hear from those germans saying that's is good you know or the Aust you know i like right i like your music quite a lot <laughs> So in this digital age, we have social media, you know, as an artist, you have an Instagram and you post stuff just to remind people that you exist, you know, that you're still doing stuff. Honestly, I don't really even like Instagram. I use it, but YouTube is my favorite. This feels like the most rich form of content. I feel like every comment that I get on here feels sincere. And the fact that you're watching this right now means that you have invested more of your time than, a, you know, a TikTok or something. So you've already done quite, quite enough and thank you very much, but please subscribe also if I could ask anything of you. The same idea of I still exist is implemented when you sell a CD. You are sneaking your way into their daily lives. They get in their car, they might see your CD in the door, in their glove compartment, on their shelf. I don't know what they do with the CD. Once it's theirs, who cares? I got their money. Sucker. That's my philosophy. You know, just like with the Instagram, you're posting just so they can see you. I, I like the, the idea of something tangible in their life. I had a friend recently uh, get in a car crash. His car got totaled. He got rear-ended by a truck at a stop sign. And when my friend got out of the car, my CD fell out of the door and onto the ground. So during this perhaps traumatic moment, <laughs> he had to look at my stupid face on the concrete. He had to pick it up and put it back. So you know how when you go through scary moments, you kind of remember every little detail? He's never gonna forget about me. That feels good, you know? That's the best marketing I can think of. You're not going to get that on Spotify, I'll tell you. It is a much more personal connection to sell CDs. Like I've got a list of everybody that bought a CD. Um, I use the word bought very loosely. I gave away a few and had to pay shipping. Another perk of selling CDs is you can just send them to your favorite artists, and they might never respond. I actually had a connection to Billy String's mother, who said that I sound like a Bob Dylan, which is awfully nice when your son might be the best bluegrass guitar player in the game right now. When I was selling to friends and family, a lot of times people would be like, I don't have a CD player. Who has a CD player? This is old. But the best response that I got, I don't think I have any way to play a CD, but I'll buy one just to support you. And that's, you know, that's all I could ever ask for. Thank you. Hello, Doc. Hey, when's the last time you uh, listened to my Perch Coup CD? Just running a pull. I um, actually think I used it um, um, for disc golf and I broke it. <laughs> Did you make the putt? I no, it freaking chained out. So it's, it's not even a good... It's, it's not even... Freaking, I learned CDs are not good for disc golf. Okay, but did it, is it good for listening to music at least? It depends. It has a bunch of scratches on it now from disc golf. Right, I get it. Most people just use it as a coaster, but you're more creative than that. I would never disrespect you as a, with a coaster. Thanks. You should put your mo you should put your music on Spotify. All right, that didn't really go as planned. I'm going to call one more person. What? When's the uh, last time you listened to my Perch Coup CD? Uh, actual CD? A physical CD? Never, because I don't have a way to play it. <laughs> oh, but, okay. Okay.